What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Darien is Fishing. Uh, this is gonna be kind of like a little vlog type video that I haven't done in a while, not just fishing. There's gonna be some fishing obviously involved in this video and I'm hoping that I'm gonna catch them really good. But we got a lot going on today. Ryan just showed up, I'm actually holding his camera. And um, I went to the tackle store, bought some really cool stuff today. And I'm gonna show you guys quickly what I got that has nothing to do with six cents at all. So to get started, got some Jordan Lee Berkeley line, uh, six pound braid, and I got six pound trialing to go on my crappie rigs, which I got these. I got um, barbecue chicken, bone white chartreuse, and money milk. And I got a pack of homemade little bitty crappie jigs. I've never crappie fished before like this. I've done it maybe one or two times. I've never like actually bought the stuff, had the rod. So one thing I'm excited about this year is this like has a lot of crappies. I think it's got a bunch of small ones, but I've never been crappie fishing, like truly go on a crappie trip where there's no bass rod. So I'm gonna do that tonight. I don't know if that's gonna be on this video or not. I might do a nighttime crappie fishing video on the next video. I'm not sure, but just stay tuned. Also, if y'all have any crappie fishing tips, please, please, please shoot them to me because I'm honestly a rookie. I'm not gonna look it up. I'm just gonna try to figure it out myself, but I will read the comments and take your guys' opinion because I know a lot of you do crappie fish. So here's what I got. There's just these regular baby shad Bobby Garlands just because I've seen, I know that's popular. And I got um, 16th ounce non-weedless uh, number two jigs. And then like I said, six pound lines. I don't know if this is the right stuff. I'm, that's just what I'm gonna start with. So I also got uh, two packs of wacky rig hooks. This one has a weight built onto it. And this one is just a weedless. And I got those just cause uh, zone lock doesn't make them. I've been using zone locks for a couple, a year and a half now, but they don't have either one of these options. So I got two packs of own, those are owners, weedless wacky and ultra head wacky. Also got two packs of Yamamoto Senkos and I got two packs of these. I've never even seen these before, but the old guy at the tackle store at Vans, he, uh, man, he was talking about these like crazy. It's called the Hit Worm Magnum. I've never seen it. I've honestly never bought Maxent Power Bait before kind of smells like butt but um he was saying these were like the trick so i bought a pack i bought two packs so anyhow that's those that's all i got from the tackle store and really all that this little unboxing type situation is also another thing i got recently is a new shimano corrado got two of them i'm loving it so far i've seen it in a couple of videos already update on my new stuff now let's look what i'm doing on the boat so the boat is a wreck right now and um as you saw in the unboxing i mean on the boat walkthrough video. I took the wrap off or I took the, the Ranger sticker off, but I, I got a little bit of it left right here. I'm trying to pull that off. And then I need to jump up in the boat right now and put these power pole uh, foot switch remote control. Let's go, we got stuff to film, come on. <laughs> All right, so this is kind of what, what a lot of my days look like is a lot of random. Brian got here about probably an hour ago and I had to send a bunch of emails, do some T stuff, do some TH Marine stuff. And now I've packed up GoPros, I dumped footage. I made a wonderful glass of Dull Sweet Tea. Now I've got my camera, dude that tea's so good. I've got my camera, tea, I've got a TH Marine uh, shirt because we got to go film some TH videos. I'll put a couple of those on the end of this edit. If you want anything from TH Marine, they got a bunch of boat supplies, boat stuff, customizing stuff. You can check that out in the link in the description. I think say 15% off, which is a pretty good discount. But as for now, uh, follow me outside. We're going to get this thing on the road. Because we've been walking around. Every time Ryan gets here, I just... I kind of, Hi, Coco. I love you. Every time Ryan comes here, we uh, we end up spending a lot of time doing nothing. All right, so I'm going to put all this stuff back in my boat and head to the lakes. We've got probably about 20 or so TH Marine videos to film of various products that are going to go on the TH Marine website. That's what I do full time is I actually do have a job that I do full time. Um, Kind of part-time a little bit full-time yeah so a little bit of work then a little bit of play drink some really good sweet tea cuss a lot off camera because we mess things up often what i was saying earlier is every time ryan comes here we do a lot of nothing because i'm very scatterbrained and i have about 10 million projects going on at once all right i'm hooking up and we're going to the lake so y'all just hang tight we'll see you at the boat ramp in just a second I just want you to know that. Some people are here to f around. That's not me. All that I'm about to film in under 20 minutes. 
That ain't even all the stuff we gotta film either. That's just a little assortment that I grabbed. So the coolest thing that we have about living right here at the lake is uh, the boat ramp is literally 20 seconds away from our house. The road's kind of sketchy to get down here, but it is a lot of fun because the cool thing about this specific ramp, there's nobody that fishes here or out of this ramp, so I just leave my trailer in the water, um, which is a lot of fun. But today we've got to film some TH videos. I don't know if I said this on the video. If not, then oh well. But we got to get the kayaks because they're in the boat dock, and I've got to get them out of the boat dock so I can put the boat in there. But also, some of them need worked on. So I'm going to go ahead and grab them and load them up on my boat trailer because the kayaks are so heavy. I'm just gonna use the boat trailer to tow them back to the house with. So that's part of today's project too. And then me and Ryan are gonna go catch some fish and we're still probably gonna cuss a little bit along the way. This is the foam lure holder. And then this is the lure tat. The tat. <laughs> tat. Hello? Can you hear me? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm, you're, you're inside of a waterproof phone case right now. I'm filming some TH videos. Use a what? Hang on. No, I'm not connecting to Bluetooth. You're inside of a waterproof phone case. Making all these noises. Hang on, Corey. Hang on. I got that all off. That's so Corey, I'm so sorry. What you don't understand is that you were just trapped inside of a waterproof TH Marine Boating Essentials phone case. I could not get you out of it. So the good thing about this lake, it is under lock and key. Actually, I think they've got the new lock. Nope, they don't have the new lock in yet. Under lock and key, which is cool because no outsiders can come fish, which used to suck when I was a kid and used to break in here because I definitely did break in here before. But now that I live here, I appreciate having to do this every time. So that nobody else can come fishing. So y'all don't get any ideas. Um, but now that we're done filming all the TH videos, some of what you just saw, I'm ready to go catch some fish because I've been watching them blow up back here the whole time we've been filming. So I'm, I'm done talking. I do have to go get the kayaks, put them on this trailer, run them back up to my house, which is gonna be a little bit obnoxious, but we can get that done pretty quickly. And then we're gonna go fish till, probably till dark. This is where I fall in the water. Oh! These seats are kind of comfortable. Yeah, kind of. So you They're sit in. they are. Yeah. Hi. Hey. 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 Okay. That might be 40 years from now. <laughs> oh, hey. It's coming in hot. If you ain't first, you're last. Hey, Coco. Coco. Okay. We got about a little smooth 10 grand worth of kayaks just by a. By a string. This has nothing on the day we dragged uh, that dock. dock. Yeah, the whole boat dock with those kayaks. That's just some real redneck stuff right here. <laughs> now, what's your plan now? Well, I haven't got that far. Your best bet is to put them sideways. I'm going to, but I can't right now. But I know we got to get these up to the uh, house so I can clean them. But these boats are a little bit bigger than I was anticipating them being once we got them here to the trailer. So. Are we? It, is it is this the final product? <laughs> I didn't realize we were this bad on this side. Dude, that is sketchy. Look at his hands. <laughs> Coco, we're drifting. We were over there. Do we keep drifting or do we try and mess with the power poles? What do you think? Okay. Hey Darian? Yeah. I don't think the power poles worked very well. Easy, easy. Oh, hey now. Easy. That's good. Ah! Okay, guys. Go with the gill dust clout worm. Hey now. Straight smashed them on this thing yesterday. I was breaking my boat in. I need to retie. Hmm. That's good stuff. There we go. First one's a little one. A little bitty large mouth. This is a uh, little chicken nugget size, but. Hey, first fish of the day. 
right there on the clout worm, right where he's supposed to be. And that took about three casts. So if you're looking for a bait, I'm not kidding you guys, if you're looking for a bait that just straight up gets a lot of bites, this right here, probably gonna be at the top of that list. And Hannah already came through here yesterday, uh, smashing on them, so I'm having to fish behind. The cool thing about a wacky rig too is you, most of the time, you're watching them eat it. Most of the time, not every time. Unfortunately, guys, I think I completely missed the spawn this year, which makes me very sad. Like the only fish I caught sight fishing this year was off my dock. Well, no, I caught that one yesterday at Gunnersville, but like, man, I just love when you can go around the bank and see them everywhere, but I just didn't have a boat, so I couldn't, I, mean, I guess I could have from the kayak, but that was when we were like working really hard on the tea company. And so, which obviously we still are, but I had bigger priorities at the time than going to try to catch sight fish, which breaks my heart. Oh, I just had one come and look at it. There's a little bluegill though. I think I just found a giant on bed, but I can't. We got over the top of them. I think there's a bed right here below us. Don't move. Let's see this. It was a little one, but I still thought I could catch him. Just sitting on a log. Oh, there's a little bass right there. I should be catching every one of these. I don't even know why they put grape in here. I'd rather eat a yellow starburst before I eat grape. Jolly Rancher. I don't like yellow starburst, Fuck you. The pink ones are the shitty ones. You are the only person who agrees with that statement. <laughs> Red ones are the best. Red, orange, yellow. No. I've never ate yellow and I never will. All right, what about Skittles? Skittles goes red. That's it. What about green apple? You you can't can't go Is wrong. Is there a green that. apple Skittles? Yeah, it's the green one. That ain't green apple. That's damn lime. No, it's green apple. I swear. Skittles, you only go red and purple. You like purple Skittles? <laughs> I just only like red Skittles, actually. I guess I just don't like anything purple. You like a purple nurple? Did I will fuck up a Reese cup or a damn? Yeah. Or a damn uh, Hershey's cookies and cream Hershey's. No, no, you got to go with the classic, bro. All right, I guess we don't agree on anything but the uh, the purple Jolly Ranchers because those things suck. Dude, if the my, if the white man in the can in the in the van said he's got a little baggie of that good good, or eat a yellow Starburst, <laughs> I'm taking my chances with the with a baggie of good good. I would rather I would rather drink root beer than I would get a yellow Starburst. You don't like root beer, dude? If you like root beer, get the f out of my boat. How do you not like? Who doesn't like root beer? Everyone doesn't like root what beer. What do you mean? The only people who like root beer got tricked into having a float when they were seven at a birthday party, <laughs> and they got all jacked up on it, and now they are somehow are addicted to it. But most people. Uh, see root beer and they look the other way. Dude, I have never met somebody who eats yellow Starburst, wash it down with a damn root beer, and then may or may not follow it up with a yellow Skittles. That that needs to make its debut. You really don't like root beer. I would rather drink this lake water with grass in it than I would even have a sip of root beer. What do you not like about root beer? All right, well, you want me to start with the color, the flavor, the bottle? What do you mean the color? It's the same as Coke. No, it flavor. ain't. It's the same as Coke if you put some tobacco in it. What? It's the same as the, it's the same thing. It's the same as butt juice Coke. How did I miss that fish right there? Oh, Ryan, get ready, get ready, get ready. They're spawning. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is a bass fishing lessons with DC. Okay, if you look, you're not gonna be able to see this, but right there, there's a spawning pair of bass. There's like a three pounder. Okay, now he hears us and sees us, so he's swimming straight to us. He's right here now. Y'all aren't gonna be able to see that. But the male is going to still be right here. Oh, and I just pissed him off. Oh, it's a big one, it's like a four pounder. Okay, I'm gonna back us up. Okay, so there's this spawning pair up there. And the female is a four pounder. And the male is about a three pounder. Okay, so I backed off. And now I'm going to get right, aimed back up the right way. Okay, so I've got a fish and 
my bait is dangling on the bed and I'm hung up on a tree, but I'm letting my line, oh God, I'm pissing this fish off. I mean, bad. So my bait, my line is hanging over the tree and my bait is laying in the bed. Oh, now they're both on it. Okay, I've sat on this fish for a minute, but I have not tried the Ned Rig. Now it's gonna be extremely hard to get it on this fish. So it's gonna have to be a perfect cast, but if I can get this, I do wanna see much different reaction, I'll say that. I'm not gonna try to explain this. I'll explain it when I'm done. She's about to bite though. She just bit it. She's, I'm about to catch her right now. She's biting, like she's literally, I'm watching her bite the bait. She just keeps biting it, dude. Got her. Got her. Yes. Man, that's my favorite thing about fishing literally ever. The fish isn't even that big. Look at that. That is so much fun to me. Hooked inside the mouth. It's a small fish. I'm not even worried about the size of the fish. And I'm going to let her go right now so she can get right back to where she was. Swam straight back to her bed. So what, what, what happened, and I knew that I was going to catch this fish because my bait, you see, you can see the bushes. Like, obviously there's a huge bush right there. My line was hanging over a bush. Well, this is a uh, Z-Man bait. So the worm floats and the head was keeping it straight. So basically what was happening is I was doing this, except the bait, you know, like imagine this is the branch, the bait was kicked out sideways. So it's just dancing around. And every time I would hop it, the bait was just like gliding through the water. <laughs> like it was cheating because the bait never moved. So I would let it fall to the ground, hop back up, fall to the ground, hop back up. And it was just dancing around. I knew I would catch the fish because there's no way, like every single time, I bet you it bit my bait and I could see it bite it. Open around, bite it and let it go. But it wasn't taking the whole bait. I bet she bit it 50 times. And then the, like I finally saw her take it and she swam off with it and that's when I knew I had her. Now there's another one that's bigger over here, but I'm pretty sure, well, they're on the bed right now. I just don't think they're ready, but they might be. All right, if I leave this fish, that gives me something to do tomorrow. So I'm definitely about to leave after this cast right there. Cause I, honestly, they're too deep and I can't see them. All right. There's so many fish up shallow. For whatever reason, they're being so spooky. Like every time I get by them, they just take off. But that'll give me something to do tomorrow. If I can catch three or four of them, five of them tomorrow. Big old head sucker. There we go, on a clout worm. Not a giant one. I mean, it's a definitely spawned out. Look at his belly. They're over here eating shad like crazy. On the old clout, good in the pre-spawn, good in the spawn, and good in the post-spawn. That's probably a two and a half pounder that when it was spawning probably a week ago, might've weighed three, three and a half. Big old head. All right, time to let this guy go. Oh, that's what it's all about. Don't matter, don't gotta be a big one always. Yeah, a lot of fun. A lot went on today. Got the kayaks moved. Obviously that was chaos. Got to fish a little bit. I saw some bed fish. So the next video you guys see, I'm gonna film in the morning. I'm gonna come out pretty early, swim a jig and throw a spinnerbait around, look for a shad spawn bite. And then after that, try to find some bed fish. I've been seeing a bunch of shad, so I'm thinking that there probably is a shad spawn. But um, yeah, awesome time to be fishing. The best time of year to be fishing. There's a lot of fish everywhere. It doesn't matter where you are. And this easy rig that I was using today is a fish catcher, no matter what, no matter where you're at. And I know you guys probably know this, but the clout worm specifically, like I throw the Yamamoto a bunch, but the clout worm specifically, it floats a little bit higher in the water column, takes a little bit longer to fall down. And I think it's just a little bit different reaction than what um, the Yamamoto gives. It's it's It looks a little bit different and I think sometimes that makes a big difference. So that's what I'm rigging up um, majority of the time. It also skips better than a Cinco. And then 
I've got the Cinco's. Obviously, I've got them on a boat and I catch fish on them, but um, the clout worm, absolutely awesome. This is gill dust and it's definitely my favorite color option for that, but I'm rigging it up on a 6.8 medium rod just so I can fight it, man. I love like that fish got in the grass and it was fighting, digging its way. I could see it cutting through the grass. I know I've got 10 pound line and 15 pound braid. So I didn't really want to horse the fish. Just kind of let him do his thing and run around. I got to fight him a little bit. That's what I love. The bow and the rod, setting the hook. And that to me, that's just what it's all about. I'm not out here fishing tournaments. I'm not out here. You know, I don't have the big boat anymore. This is a moderate, good size boat for me, but um, I just want to have fun. And so that's what it's all about for me. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I'm so glad to be back in the saddle, fishing out of the boat. Just hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And um, yeah, we'll get back to filming. We got to do that. I know y'all are thinking this is crazy, but we're actually now filming the boat reveal walkthrough video, which we talked, which we, which we played a long time ago. So anyhow, let me get out of here and go film that video. We'll see you guys all in the next one.